Kathy. Welcome to a beautiful new day. It's a brand new gorgeous day. And uh, welcome to the Mystic's Heart. This is Denise Iwana Francisco. And today we're going to spend some time with the angels. <laughs> hey, Jocelyn, it's good to see you in the house this morning. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for tuning in this morning to my elder sister's show. That is Delmarie Dullknife Bradfield. And uh, God, what a good show this morning, talking about wisdom, gaining wisdom. Where does wisdom come from? Where do you not get it? Where can you find it? All of those good kinds of things. And uh, it's a great way to begin the day. And so I just want to acknowledge everybody who is already in the chat. Thank you for being here. It's an exciting day here in the Enchanted Forest. And uh, part of that is because Gathering Thunder Foundation is on the move. What does that mean? That means this afternoon we are sponsoring the Native American Education Program Christmas Party. And uh, I'm really excited about that. That's a highlight for me of the Christmas season because for many of the uh, urban Native youth, here in West Michigan, this is their Christmas party this afternoon from four until six. And so Gathering Thunder Foundation will be sponsoring the party and the meal and stockings. And I even have it on pretty good authority that uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kringle, Santa and the Mrs. will be showing up. And uh, it seems to me I heard that Carl and Ortrun Franklin were able to pull some strings at the North Pole to make sure that uh, St. Nick and his wife will be there this evening for the youth at the Native American Education Program. And so we are excited about that, very excited about that. And I'd like to just take a moment to say thank you to all of you. I know that many of you, you know, donate to Gathering Thunder Foundation. And uh, recently, and just in the last couple of days, we were able to provide uh, brand new beds, bunk beds, for the youth that gather our children safe house in Ogallala, South Dakota, we were able to purchase four sets of bunk beds and my nephew, Charlie Whitesell, put them together with the help of some of the little ones that are staying there at the safe house. And uh, what a beautiful thing to know that those children now have a warm, cozy, safe place to sleep at night. I mean, that's the stuff that just makes my heart go, yeah, I mean, that's why we're alive, right? All children are our children. And I love the work that we do with Gathering Thunder, whether it's Gather Our Children Home, uh, the Youth at the Crisis Center, the Native American Education Program, the basketball players in Minnesota. There's something about children, isn't it? Our youth, our beautiful youth. So yes, thank you to each and every one of you that volunteers, that donates, that supports, that when you see me writing about something on Facebook about Gathering Thunder, you take a moment to share that. I can't tell you how many people have said to me, well, I didn't know anything about Gathering Thunder until so-and-so shared something on Facebook, and I looked you up, and there you were, and thank you for doing what you're doing. So I just want to say thank you to all of you, and for those of you that keep us in your prayers, prayer is powerful, as we just heard from my Chue my elder sister, Del Marie. So this morning, it's all about the angels. It's about the mystic angels. Why? Because, because this is the season of the return of light in the Northern hemisphere when the days get longer and the sun appears in the, the sky for longer durations during the course of the day. It's the return of the sun. Good morning, Margaret. So this morning, it's all about that. We are going to open with a prayer. And today, because it is, tis the season, as they say, we're going to be doing a Wopila, because you all know how much I love doing Wopila. So for those of you that would like to uh, be entered into a drawing to win a copy of my new book, Prayers and Incantations to the Light, a soft cover version, uh, just send me an email, denise at deniseiwana.com. And... Uh, I'll be sending out a book to somebody this week. Loving this book. Okay, so this morning we're going to do the morning prayer. And for those of you that have this book, it's on page 90 of Prayers and Incantations to the Light. It's called Morning Prayer. In the Lakota language, it is said, He Hane Wash Day. Good morning. Lila Wash Day. It's a very good day. Lila Wash Day. Very good day. 
morning prayer. Deep breath in, everybody. Angels of the morning sun, divine ministers of dawn, whose brilliant rays arrive upon the life-giving breath of creation, I welcome the gift of this new day. Thank you for bringing with you new opportunities to play, to forgive, to love, to learn, to grow, to live, to be your eyes, your heart, your ears, and your hands. Creator of all things, I am grateful for this day. I am grateful for my life. I am grateful for you. Amen. Blessings be. Thank you for helping me to be your hands here on earth. You know, Del was right. It's about giving this journey of the soul. Tomorrow night on Balancing Heaven and Earth at 8 p.m. EST, I'm going to be talking about the journey of the soul and walking between the worlds and the fact that as we walk between the worlds during this journey of the soul, we are never, ever alone. And who is it that walks with us? Who is it that we bump into? Who is it that we meet by design, divine design? So that's tomorrow night on Balancing Heaven and Earth there on my show page, Balancing Heaven and Earth. So let's get going. Everybody, the card for all of us today, Metatron, once known as the prophet Enoch in Genesis. Metatron teaches us about realizing, fully realizing, good morning, Virginia, fully realizing our solar angelic self. In other words, becoming one with our sun self. So this is perfect as we are leading up to the solstice, to Yule, to the Christ mass during the time of Hanukkah and Diwali all of those wonderful celebrations of light. This is about self-mastery and transformation. This is a time of transformation for all of us. And we can choose to transform and go with the flow of our soul's journey, or you know, we can go kicking and screaming and not have so much fun. Good morning, Rochelle. So this is a time of transformation. And you know, when we draw these cards, why do we draw the cards? Well, the, the cards are symbolic. They're teachings. Each and every one of these mystic angel cards is a teaching. It's a teaching about that angel of light, that mystic angel. And so the teaching on this card, the daily mantra is simply, I am that I am. When Del greeted us all this morning, hey, Del, we chapki oyate, right? That's the star nations. Those are the star nations. And she said, we're all stars. Metatron teaches us that at all times we're given opportunities to become more one with our star self. And of course, the greatest star out there, that would be the sun, because it's a big one, isn't it? <laughs> Realizing our inner sun and shining it, because that's what we came here to do, to shine our light. Hey, good morning, Elise. Good to see you. Hope you're feeling well. We keep you in our prayers here. We sure do. Good morning, Missy. Geez, I can hardly keep up with all of you. Isn't that marvelous? Good morning, Becca. Good to have you on board this morning. So let's get going with some fun here. So we all know that during the course of solstice, one of the angels that we can call upon to journey with, to be with, to sit in the energy of is the angel known as Metatron, once known as the prophet Enoch. For those of you that are biblical, Students, some are. Jocelyn, this one is for you, and it is the Archangel Amethyst. Amethyst reminds us of our relationship with the stone nations, the Ian Oyate, the stone nations. The stones, the gemstones, the crystals, all are very much alive. We know that. That's not anything that you don't know. And Amethyst reminds us it's good to sometimes go out and talk to an elder. And sometimes the elder that we can talk to is a stone. Sometimes it is a stone. Sometimes it's wonderful to go sit on a stone, on a rock. I don't know how cold it is down there in the great state of Georgia right now, but perhaps you're being called to just, you know, sit with a stone to bring in the energy of a particular gemstone or a crystal. Or maybe, Jocelyn, it is a reminder that your crystals and your stones need to be cleansed. 
recharged after all we're getting ready for solstice and one of the most beautiful things that we can do with our stone nation relatives i've got a whole bunch of them sitting right here by me here's a lovely piece that my friend audra de Vries gave me it's turtled and so what do we do with these? Well, for me, when solstice arrives, well, any of the equinoxes or the solstices, I take mine out and I clean them and I let them sit in the rays. Alice Bailey talks about the rays, right? For those of you that are fans of the work of Alice Bailey. So maybe it's just a reminder for all of us, thank you, Jocelyn, that we should be preparing our stone allies, our stone friends, uh, to be cleansed and recharged in the energy of the winter solstice rays. I love the work of Alice Bailey myself and Dion Fortune. There's so many ways to learn about the sacred. I'm going to be having a new show, by the way, called Exploring Sacred. I think you're going to like it. David Fix and I are working on that right now. And uh, coming at you from the Mystics Heart team of he and I, Exploring Sacred. So Missy, this one is for you, my love, and it's the Archangel Saint Raphael. Raphael is the angel of healers and those that need healing. Raphael is also the one that says to us, once I was blind and now I see. Sometimes in order to heal an illness or a disease, we're shown something that maybe we don't want to see. When people call upon the angels, we need to remember that they are very alchemical, no different than our totem allies our spirit allies, our guides and spirit. It's alchemical. It's a give and a take. It's a relationship. And so if we call upon the Archangel Saint Raphael, because there's something maybe we wish to release in our life, then we need to be prepared for what that healing is going to entail, what it's going to bring to us, what it is going to help excise from our life. Very important. But what I would say to you, Missy, is to spend some time with the Archangel Saint Raphael just some alone time, meditation time, contemplation time. Hey, Katie. And if all of you could like this show and share it, that would be wonderful if you are so inclined to do that. Becca, this one is for you. It is Becca Mata. It is the Archangel Salafiel, the angel of prayers. Salafiel teaches us that every thought that we think, every word that we speak, every letter that we type or write or text or email is in fact a prayer. It is a communication with the divine. It is alchemical in nature. And so Salafiel says, thank you, Becca, for being a prayerful person, for praying on behalf of others, and sometimes for being the answer to a prayer for someone in need. That is the message for you today. Thank you for being, you know, the answer to a prayer for those in need. And thank you for the prayers that you give every day. My thoughts are prayers. Let them be loving and kind is the mantra of beautiful Salafiel. Good morning, Molly. Good to see you there as well. Debbie Bullard, another Georgia girl. Oh, it's Debbie Guitard. Oh, good morning. I thought it was Debbie Bullard. Good morning, Deborah. Good to have you with us. Oh, I love this. It's so much fun. He honey, wash day again, Chue. All right. So we're going to just shuffle all of this up. Nikki Jorgensen. Nikki, this one is for you. There's no magical way that I do this. I'm, you know, keep it simple is kind of my philosophy. I try not to overthink stuff because <laughs> when you overthink stuff, it just gets convoluted and unnecessarily weird. Okay, so this one is for you. It is the Archangel Asariel, Nikki. Every step along the journey of life, gathers to us the experiences, people, places, and things that help to create our own unique story. Our own unique story, and that's the truth. What the Archangel Osario, who was associated, by the way, with Capricorn, we're coming into the season of Capricorn. Osario reminds us, Nikki, 
Every moment of my life has made me the beautiful light that I have become. This is a card of celebrating. You've come a long way, baby. And all of the experiences of your life, the experiences of your journey, Asariel says, celebrate those. Celebrate those. Because everything has made you the beautiful light that you are. For myself, when I utilize these cards, these teaching cards, because that's really what they are. It's all about teaching. I would suggest, suggest that you remember which of the angels uh, came to you today and include them in your solstice or your Yule or your Christmas celebration, your prayers. These are beautiful angels of light, the mystic angels of light. A lot of work went into these. It was really funny. Sister Irene Mary, who is a Dominican nun, edited the book and the cards for me. The cards also have a book that go with them. And Sister Irene Mary just celebrated her 50th Jubilee, or her Jubilee, her 50th year as a Dominican sister. But when she was editing the book and the cards, she said to me, oh my goodness, Denise, you know, I went to all of those years of school to become a nun, and I had no idea there were so many beautiful angels out there. We typically only hear of three or four in the Old Testament or the New Testament, depending on which version of the Christian Bible you read. And she said it was so fun to learn about more of the pantheon of angels that that exist. And uh, yeah, I just recent, recently reconnected with my beautiful friend, Irene Mary, who now lives in Rapid City, South Dakota. Imagine that, right? Good morning, Cindy Lynn. It's good to have you in the house. Okay, let me get organized again, everybody. Hey, Meg. Good morning, beautiful soul yourself. Okay, here we go. Katie Battle. Katie Battle. It's the angel Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Nathaniel reminds us that it's good to have joy. I am fired up about life and I am joyful in my existence. Boy, sometimes we can just feel like we're our butts dragging, right? Everybody, you ever have that? Especially this time of the year, we got stuff to do. We're going and having parties and all that kind of a thing. We think, isn't this supposed to be joyful? Well, if it isn't joyful, it's time for a little check about what's going on. And sometimes when we're feeling less than joyful, there is an energetic ray that exudes from the heart and mind of God known as Nathaniel. That is the joy ray or the joy angel. This is all about joy, Katie, all about joy. It's also a reminder of the amount of joy that you bring other people. You bring me joy. I'm just going to say that right now, Nathaniel. You bring me joy, Katie. <laughs> My friend, you all bring me joy. You all bring me great joy. Good morning, Julie Fortino, that little Gavin, little sweetheart. Julie, the angel Cassiel. It's all about wealth. It's all about wealth. It's about abundance. Abundance is having a sufficiency for every moment of my life. Cassiel says to us, take a look around and enjoy the abundance in your life. Cassiel says, where do you find abundance? Maybe you no longer find abundance where you once found abundance. Some people maybe a long time ago found abundance shopping at the mall. Some people love to shop at the mall and that's where they feel abundant and joyful. And now they go to the mall and they think, gee, I, I don't feel the same way about that anymore. Cassiel says sometimes we need to just stop and meditate upon the abundance in our lives. And, and Cassiel also reminds you, Julie, of the abundance of light that you bring to the world. Sometimes we can look all around us and say, oh my goodness, isn't this marvelous? Look at this existence I'm having. Look at the joy. Look at the abundance of the beautiful souls every Tuesday 
and in the archives that join me. I don't know why you all do what you do on Tuesdays. I guess because we all have fun together, but I'm joyful about that. I love Tuesday mornings. I love Wednesday evening. It's abundance. But what about considering, Julie, the gift that you are to other people? You are a gift to me. You and I have known each other a great many years, and you, my friend, are a woman of substance. You are a woman of substance, and if nobody has told you that lately, I'm here to tell you, you are a woman of substance. Your light is exquisitely bright, and you are an abundance of graceful blessings to those who know and love you. So that's both sides of that coin from your friend here, yours truly. Just saying. Cassiel. Hey, Margaret. Okay, Elise. Elise Miller. It's Azrael, the Scorpio angel. <laughs> hey, Katie did. <laughs> My niece, Katie. Aw. Well, I didn't mean to make you cry, but... I meant everything that I said, because I don't say what I don't mean. My dear friend Darlene always says, don't say what you don't know, and don't be who you're not. That's not a good thing to do. Don't be who you're not. Don't say what you don't know, because it can get really embarrassing when you do those things. Okay, Elise. And Catherine Ann, you little sweetheart, you better stay in the, in the thread this morning so I can pull a card for you. Okay, Elise, Azrael, the mystic. This is one of those cards, and we're going to talk about this tomorrow night on Balancing Heaven and Earth. You can go right there to my show page, Balancing Heaven and Earth. We're going to be talking about some of the allies that walk with us during this mysterious journey of human life that our soul has decided to take. Azrael says, Elise, you're being given homework today during the course of solstice, because solstice isn't just like, bang, there it was and it's gone. No, it's a progression leading up to, good morning, Jason, and waning, waxing and waning. Sit with your guides, sit with your angels, get quiet, create a sacred space for yourself, and listen to the guidance of your guides, your allies, your totems, your angels, in other words, all of the team members that accompany you during the course of your soul. Azrael. I am a wise and mighty spiritual being. I listen to the voice of my soul. That is the mantra of Azrael, Elise. Okay, Jacqueline. Anayel. Anayel, the star of Isis, the blue star, Sirius, Isis, the loving mother. My essence is light. I am what the stars are made of. My essence is light. I am what the stars are made of. This is a reminder to you. There are no greater and there are no lesser than you remember. Isn't that humbling? I find it very humbling when sometimes I just sit and I think to myself, I have stardust in this vehicle is part stardust. For me, that's humbling. And this is a reminder to you. And it's also an invitation from Anayel during your solstice or your Yule celebration to sit a spell, to sit a spell. Creator gave us these wonderful companions of light for a reason, for a reason. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, Elise. You beautiful thing, you. Yeah, Anaya. Jacqueline, that's your companion, your compadre. Okay, look, I'm probably just getting a little bit behind here. Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Good to see you. All right. Margaret Spooner. Margaret. Oh, good. You're going to sit with your amethyst stone. That is fantastic, Jocelyn. Let me just say something before we get to Margaret Spooner. Margaret, um, the other night I was reading a book 
I'm a late owl. I'm up late. I like it when it's quiet and peaceful. My house is very peaceful typically, but I am a nighttime person. That's when I read. And I was reading a book and all of a sudden I had this intuition that said, you need to bring one of the stones from your sacred space into the bedroom. I said, what? Put the book down, said the soul voice, and go get that stone. It's a beautiful stone that I uh, found when I was in South Dakota. And so I brought it into the bedroom. It's on my nightstand next to me. There's an energy. You know, I grew up in a family where I was taught that everything is alive. Everything is alive including the stones. So I'm so happy that you're going to be doing that. Jocelyn, you know that you're an elder woman, you're a sage woman, and you're constantly teaching, constantly teaching. Okay, Margaret, Uriel, Uriel, he who shines like the creator or the one who shines like the creator. Angels are neither male nor female. They are both. They comprise both male and female energies. Uriel, this is a card about leadership, stepping into leadership role. And it's also a card that says, I love myself in my perfect imperfection. It is a card that says, Oriel teaches us to love ourselves, to forgive ourselves. We're really good a lot of times at forgiving other people, but not necessarily ourselves. And Uriel says, love yourself in your perfect imperfection. Perfect imperfection. And Uriel is calling you to meditation and contemplation time. All right, let me have a look here at what's going on. All right. Good morning, Nelly. you beautiful soul. Isn't it fun just to be here? <laughs> okay, Katie, Catherine, and isn't she cute? <laughs> I love listening to you too, sweetheart. Katie is my niece. And uh, I am so blessed to have so many young people in my life that, you know, reach out to me. Hey, Aunt Denise, you want to go to lunch? You want to go to dinner? God, does it get any better than that? I just don't think that it does. I just don't think that it does. I, I love young people. I love my family. And one of the beautiful things really about being an adopted person is that my family is so unique. It is so diverse. Because you know what, everybody? Love is love, isn't it? Love is love. And family love is where you find family love. Family love is a feeling. It's an energy. And sometimes family of origin isn't always where just where we find our love, but there's family that's created out of a family love. But Katie is my niece, little Catherine Ann Iwana. All right, Katie did, you little sweet pea. This is the Archangel St. Michael. It is the rendering of Mikael, according to David Fix. Mikael, the Archangel St. Michael is reminding you that he is walking with you, Katie. When you need strength, when you need courage, you know that you can call on Mikael, on Michael, you know that. But this is also a card that says thank you for being the courageous one. Thank you for standing up for what's right, what isn't always easy but thank you for being courageous on behalf of others. Sometimes we are called to be the one that, you know, leads the way or says, calls BS where there's BS. Doesn't make us popular. It just doesn't. Sometimes it does, but rarely. So this is, this is an Atta girl. And Michael is saying, and always remember, Catherine Ann, that I am walking with you. You are never, ever alone. All right, Katie did, you little sweet thing. <laughs> I love being an auntie. I have so many wonderful nieces and nephews. I am blessed. All right, Becca Waters. Ariel, 
the Archangel Ariel. This artwork is so beautiful. David Fix is extraordinary. Ariel is an angel of unity. When Ariel appears, Ariel says, go spend time with Grandmother Earth. Grandmother Earth is one of the most glorious angels of all. Whether we call her Earth, we call her Gaia, we call her Grandmother, we call her Mother, we call her Raziel. Go spend time with her. Go spend time with her. Go outside and take a deep breath. Yeah, Becca, you're beautiful. Go spend time with Grandmother. She's calling you. Sometimes Grandmother Earth beckons us to go outdoors. She calls me every day. Every day I go outside. I'm kind of like the postal workers. Right, Katie? Neither wind, nor rain, nor sleet, nor snow keeps me from going outside. Because I need to connect with Grandmother. That is one of the most sacred things that we can do is to connect with our grandmother. The Essenes referred to her as an angel. Our heavenly father and our earthly mother is what the Essenes called her, our earthly mother. And they recognized her and her waterways and her mountains and her grasses, the flora and the fauna as living, breathing beings of the angel known as our earthly mother. And of course, the Wichapki Oyate, the star nations, part of the Heavenly Father. I love learning from the Essene teachings as well. So many wise traditions on Grandmother Earth and in the star nations. Yes, absolutely. All right. Let me get back on track here. All right. Janice Francisco. It's the angel Toth, Thoth. Some people say Thoth. Lots of ways to say Toth, Thoth. This is about alchemy. This is about health. It's about balance. Toth reminds us, reminds us to take a look at what are we allowing in our lives? What are we allowing in our lives? What are we allowing in our thoughts, in our body, in our surroundings? What are we taking in? What are we giving out? Toth says, remember balance, remember boundaries, boundaries with our own selves. So Toth says to us, a healthy mind and spirit helps to create a healthy body and a balanced existence. Sometimes we are out of balance or we just want to be more balanced. Maybe we're not all out of balance, but we'd like to tighten up the balance. We can call upon the angel known as Toth or Thoth. So just a reminder to be healthy and good to yourself. And that's not always easy this time of the year, is it? Well, it isn't because I have a container of cookies downstairs that I made the other day, sugar cookies with sprinkles and stuff. But you know, it's all about balance. It's all about balance. Now, if I eat the whole jar of cookies, there would be a problem. If I have a cookie or two, you know, that's being in balance. It's all about balance, I believe. Or maybe I'm just kidding myself, but I don't think so. Sonia. Sonia. This one here, I am L. I am L. The light of I am. It's all about change. I am L reminds us that if we change our thoughts, we change our world. If we change our thoughts, we change our interior castle. IML also says, go with the flow of change. There are changes happening in your life right now. IML says, the leap of uh, the, the, the net of faith always appears to those who believe. The net. The net of love is a constant companion to change. When we leap, it spreads gently below us offering us a safe harbor in which to grow. Sometimes we can feel growing pains, can't we? And we're like, oh, I don't know that I really like this feeling of change that's going on. And I'm kind of afraid to take the leap of faith. The beauty, I believe, of this human existence, this hero's journey, is that when we take the leap into our growth, into our wisdom, 
as Del was talking about this morning, there is a net of love that appears for a gentle landing, a gentle growth. And, you know, we can say to creator, to our angelic guides, to our soul, our higher self, all the, the fullness of who we are. I know that I'm going through changes right now. Will you help to make them gentle, loving, and kind? Some people like to learn the hard way, or maybe they've never been taught that it doesn't always have to be the hard way. It doesn't always have to be the hard way. Okay. Sending lots of love to you and your babies because... Apparently, um, some of Sonia's little ones had to go to the doctor to get, you know, the spay and neuter thing done. And so sending lots of love to your four-legged babies, Sonia. Okay, Meg. <laughs> Meg and Nutto. Oh, God, I love you. Okay, here we are. Shuffle, shuffle. This is the Archangel Raziel. It's the Hebrew name for Grandmother Earth for Gaia. Also represents the flower of life. The flower of life. This card says, hold on just a moment here. Make a little bit more room so Meg can see the card. Raziel, with your back to the shadows and your face to the sun, Raziel has come to help you co-create what's next. It's also a call to go outdoors, to be with grandmother. Raziel, a beautiful name for grandmother earth. Isn't that lovely? I am the light of the divine forever blooming and always loving. This is a card that says, remember to co-create. And I know that you are somebody who co-creates. So Raziel may be saying to you, Meg, invite me into the equation. Invite me to help you create what is next, to co-create what is next on your journey. That's why we're given allies and angels, to employ them, to walk with them. Isn't that marvelous? And angels come in many forms, by the way, many forms. I once asked one of my teachers, his name is Wakian Snamani. Thunder snare walking is what that means. And I said to him years ago when I was first learning back in 2006 is when he brought me into the path of learning about the ceremonies and walking with the Chinupa. And he and I were sitting around a fire one evening after Inipi. And I said, Wakia, what are you know the, your beliefs about angels? He's a very traditional Lakota man. He is not a Christian man or any of that. He's traditional. Lakota teachings, Lakota walk, period. And he started to laugh and he said to me, my English name is Michael. I was named after an angel from my mom. My mom believed in angels. And he said, we believe in angels, but we don't call them angels. And I remember being at a Sundance thereafter at the ceremony and watching the Sundancers and there were these little beings Clairvoyantly, I could see them next to some of the sun dancers as they were dancing and praying. And we we're all praying and supporting the sun dancers at his place. And during the break time, I said to him, Joaquin, what are these little beings that I'm seeing? I've never seen beings like that before. And he looked at me and he said, you have to remember, not all angels look the way that you were taught that they look. Angels come in many forms and many shapes. You have to get out of that Western mind, he said, and get into the bigger mind. Yeah. <laughs> so angels come in many shapes and forms and in all traditions and all cultures. All right, here we go. Hey, good morning, Star. Good to see you. Good to have you in the house, as they say. All right, I wanna make sure that I don't forget anybody this morning. And sometimes I just get blabbing about stuff. I get off on these tangents, don't I? Okay, Jason, it's the Joaquin, speaking of Joaquin. Joaquin is the thunder being. It is the all-seeing eye of creator. 
The Waukeon says, stay your path, stay your course, and always remember you are related to every living thing, seen and unseen. You are related. Mitakoye oyasi, mitakuyasin, lots of ways that people say that. You are related to every living thing. And this is a card that says, Jason, stay the course. Stand in your light. Be true to your soul's path. Keep walking. And always remember, everything is your brother and your sister. Everything is your relative. Everything is your relative. I am one with all in the sacred hoop of life, says the Wakiam. The Wakiam is also the being that keeps an eye on us when we are walking our path. Years ago, when I received my Chanupa from Wakian, and I received it in a traditional way. What does that mean, that I received my Chanupa, my pipe, in a traditional way? It was during the course of Inipi ceremony, and it was given to me by an elder sister, a Chue, and this Chue was a Margie Bird, Wakian's older sister. So it was given to me from a woman to me during Inipi. And afterward, he and I were talking about the responsibility of carrying a Chanupa. And he said, always remember that the Wakia Oyate, the Thunder Nation, is always going to be watching the way that you walk with your Chanupa, the way that you talk, the way that you are with people, the way that you teach, the way that you are. And remember that you're responsible for all of that. And if your pipe goes missing, if it comes up and it's broken, then the Wakian is saying to you, you need to reevaluate. And your pipe may or may not ever come back to you or, you know, another one gifted to you. So you need to be very careful. So the Wakian says to us, stay on the path. Stay on the path. Shine your light. Just shine your light. When you get off into the black and blue road, get back on the light path, on the red road. All right, Jane Joubert, I love that name. That is such a beautiful name. The Archangel Yophiel, the card of ecstasy, of ecstatic union, the marriage of the male and the female, the marriage of human and the divine. I love this. Ecstasy is perfect union. Delight in the one that we love or the one who loves us most of all. This is a card that reminds you that you and the creator are one. Jane, you are an expression of the creator here on the earth plane. You are divine. You are the hands and the eyes and the heart and the love of our maker here on grandmother. And it's a thank you card for being those things because sometimes these are the only hands that creator has, that the angels have, that the, the Tenkashilas have are our hands. What do we do with them? Sometimes our voice, our stamina is the only voice, the only eyes. What do we do with that? That's sacred. This life we're living is sacred. Yeah. Good morning, Anna Iwana. <laughs> that little sweetheart baby, Sophia. Is she about the cutest thing ever? Oh, my goodness. Look, at I have all these wonderful nieces in the house this morning. I love that. I love that. Oh, good. So I get to pull a card for you, too, this morning. That is marvelous. Just keep listening in. Keep listening in. Marilyn Lewis. Good morning, sweet thing. <laughs> I kind of get off track here because it's so fun. And you know what? It's the holidays and here we are all together. Isn't that marvelous? Good morning, Jody. Good to see you in the house too. Hey, Cal, are you here yet? Just saying. Okay. All right. Jody. It's the Archangel East Raphael. Isn't East Raphael beautiful? One of my favorites. East Raphael comes with a beautiful Coptic teaching. A beautiful Coptic teaching. 
And the Coptic teaching is this, a master is the one who is awake. This is a card of being awake. East Raphael says, remember, miracles are all around us. And for those who are awake and aware, they see the miracles all around and within. A master is the one who is awake. We all know people who are asleep at the wheel, right? Sleep at the wheel. And, you know, sometimes we try to help, you know, wake them up, <laughs> wake up. Everyone wakes up in their own time. It's all divine timing. Yophiel says, waking up doesn't have to be some miraculous moment of epiphany or ascension. All it has to be is be a seer, see the miracles, acknowledge the miracles. That's being awake. And the more awake we become, the more the miracles say, oh, she's awake. She's awake. She sees us. She hears us. She knows that we are all related. Love that. Okay. All right. I'm going to have a look, see here. Yeah, who is in the chat room? Here we go. I want to make sure that I have a card for everybody. Cindy Lynn, the Archangel Barbiel. Isn't that a beauty? Barbiel. Barbiel says, you know what? There's something new coming along your path. Be open. There are new teachings coming to you. There are new teachers coming to you. Be open to the teachings that are coming to you. Be open to what your dreams bring to you. Our dreams can be the most potent time in the mystery school of all of all. The mystery schools exist, of course, on the physical plane, but more than that, they exist on the etheric, the esoteric plane. And so what spirit is saying to you is be aware because things are changing. Teachings are coming to you. Pay attention. Most of our best teachings, most of our best teachings, that's great English, isn't it? Sometimes the most beautiful teachings come to us in our dream time, meditation time, contemplation time, prayer time. We get what we might call inspirations. Pay attention to the inspirations that are coming to you. Please pay attention to those. All right. Nellie. Nellie, this one is for you. It's the angel Barshiel, the angel of Pisces, the angel of balance. The angel of balance. Barshiel says to us, in those times of our life when we are feeling out of balance, invite me in to restore balance. Sometimes during the course of our life, things can get out of balance. Our health, our mental wellness, emotional wellness, physical wellness, all of those spiritual wellness. The archangel Barshiel says, you know, take my hand. Invite me to bring balance to a situation, to a thought, to a healing. Barshiel, it's beautiful. Mary, the archangel Kamael. You're welcome, Cindy. Lynn, yeah, pay attention. There are changes coming, my dear. Beautiful changes in teachings. Okay, Kamael, Mary, this one is for you. Kamael is also associated with Aries. I have friends who are Aries, like Kelly Spencer. And Kamael says, you know who you are. You know who you are. Be that. You didn't come here to be what everybody else wants you to be or what everyone else hopes you'll be or what other people think you should be. Kamael says, no, you, your soul knows why you came here. You know who you are, Mary. Be that. Be that. Be you. Be uniquely you. Shine that light. Boy, we can get burnt out trying to shine the light that we think other people want us to shine. We can become dog tired from that. 
but my parents expect me to be this. My boyfriend, my girlfriend, my husband, society expects me to be that. It's way easier, everybody, when we just shine our light as we came here with it. And you know what? Those that love us already know what we're about. They already know what we're about. I love it when my nieces and my nephews and my grandkids out on Pine Ridge reach out to me and say, you know, you're the only one who's going to understand this. You're the only one who's not going to think I'm crazy. That's right. Well, I hear a lot of stuff. And I love it when people say, I know you're not going to think I'm crazy. Because no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Angie. Angie. Shamshiel. The angel Shamshiel is the angel of freedom. It ties in perfectly what we're talking about here, being confident in who we are. Sometimes we lack confidence because we are enslaved to, chained up to, things that we need to let go of, that we need to emancipate ourselves from. Shamshiel says, it's time to let go of that chain. It's like, you know, okay, it's Christmas season. Jacob Marley, I almost said Bob Marley, but totally different. Jacob Marley from A Christmas Carol dragging all those chains around, chains of the past, chains of unforgiveness, chains of greed, all of those chains that we all can carry around, every one of us. Angie Shamshiel says, honey girl, let go of those chains. Let go of the chains that are binding your heart, your thoughts, your emotions that are binding you to the past. Be present in the now. Shamshiel says, be in the now, enjoy the now, because that's where we all are. Enjoy the now, unfetter yourself, free yourself. Sometimes the thing that chains us the most are outdated belief systems and old thoughts that we had about ourselves. Do you know how many people are still carrying around stuff that they heard about themselves when they were five, six, seven, 10, 12 years old? Well, I was told when I was 12 that I would never amount to, I was told when I was eight, well, how old are you now? I always ask. How old are you now? Well, I'm 50. Well, that was a long time ago. So let's come into the now. So whatever may be chaining you up, Angie, Shamshiel says, let it go. Cut those cords. Free yourself from those chains that bind you. Chain, 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 right? Aretha Franklin was singing about some chains back in Motown. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Here I am. All right. Anna, I want to. There's so many of us today that I'm redoing. I'm reshuffling the same deck because today's Angel Day, everybody. Shuffle, shuffle. Okay. Anna. It's the Archangel Salafiel is the angel of prayer. Becca got this one earlier. This is a card that says our thoughts are prayers. Let them be loving and kind. This is also a thank you card, Anna, Anna, Anna. That's pretty. That says, Anna, thank you for being a prayerful woman. Thank you for making prayers on behalf of others. And also, Anna, thank you for being the answer to a prayer. For those in need. My thoughts are prayers. Let them be loving and kind. The angels are thanking you for the prayers that you put up because you put up some powerful prayers. And this is a thank you card from them. I love that. Salafiel. Because it's true. Every thought that we think, every word that we speak, every text that we send is alive. We need to be very watchful of what we're putting out. All right, Tracy Civic, a beautiful thing. Here's my methodology for shuffling. Pretty straightforward and simple. Azrael, Azrael, the inner mystic. This card is calling you Tracy Civic to sit a spell Take some time, create a sacred space. Your angels are wanting to talk to you. They're wanting to have a tete-a-tete, -a, -tete, a heart to heart. They wanna to talk to you, they got some things to say. 
And this is also a card of trusting what it is that they tell you. You know, sometimes we get messages in prayer or inspirations, and sometimes we can doubt ourselves. Azrael says, don't doubt what your soul knows. Don't doubt what your intuition is telling you. Trust. Trust your connection to the divine. Trust your connection to the creator. Trust that. So Azrael says to the doubting Thomas, pack your bags. I trust the voice of my soul. No more doubt, Tracy. No more doubt. Rob, the archangel, Saint Raphael, the angel of healers. Once I was blind and now I see. This is a card of opening our eyes again. We can go through the course of our life seeing things and as we age and we gain a little wisdom, we gain a little wisdom, we begin to see things differently. This is a card of allowing your eyes to see things differently. Once I was blind and now I see. And there's a lot of healing that happens when we open our eyes and we see. So this is a card that acknowledges that there are healings going on in your life. This is a time of healing and a time of growth. And whenever we go through a healing or a time of growth, we begin to see things differently. And that's okay. Anna, thank you so much for that. That seriously makes me feel that everything I'm doing and praying for is working. Today is going to be the perfect day. Thanks. You are welcome. And give that baby Sophia a little smooch from her auntie. Have a beautiful day, Anna. Virginia. Virginia. Mikael, the Archangel Saint Michael. The Archangel Saint Michael. I celebrate the lessons that I have learned in my life and I rejoice in what they have taught me. I rejoice in what they have taught me. This is a card that says, Virginia, celebrate your life. Celebrate your path. And more than that, know that you are walking along your path in the company of angels, of the angels of light, of the archangels. We all are. We have these magnificent beings of light called angels that walk with us. They are not relegated to Catholics only. I have had people say to me over time, believe it or not, but Denise, I can't have an angel. I'm not Catholic. I'm Hindu. Well, you don't have to be a Catholic to have an angel. Angels are beings, divine beings of light and love from the heart and mind of creator. They're magnificent. And not only do they walk with us, they love us. Because you know what? For a lot of angels, there will never be an experience of being human. To the angelic realm, we are very brave souls to decide that we're going to come out of the heart and mind, the love of God, to experience being human. This is not for the faint of heart, this human walk. It is not for the faint of heart. Mikael says, be brave, be bold, be you, shine your light. Because remember, we are always walking with you. And when you are feeling down or discouraged, Virginia, call on us. And remember that when you call upon us out here, that aspect of us that resides in here also responds. Everything outside of us is contained within us. Julie Hedges. Uriel. Oh, you're welcome, Angie. You are very welcome. Julie Hedges, it is Uriel. Uriel, he who shines, the angel who shines, the one who shines like the creator, like the sun, like the sun. Uriel reminds us to shine like the sun. Uriel reminds us about our own inner sun, the solar plexus, our own solar logos, the solar disk. Uriel says shine. Sometimes we don't want to shine. 
you ever meet anybody or have you ever had this experience where, well, who am I to teach that? Who am I to shine? I'm not perfect. I'm not a scholar. I don't have degrees hanging on my wall. I'm not schooled in that. Who am I to shine? I'm not perfect. Do you know what I did in 1977? How can I possibly take a leadership role if anybody knew what I did in 1977? Well, you know what? We all did stuff in 1977. We've all done stuff in our life. Or he all says shine anyway, because you know what? You didn't come here to be perfect. You came here to be human. You came here to enjoy the story and the roller coaster ride of being human. And out of that knowledge and wisdom comes and share that. Lead with that. Lead with that light of experience. I like that myself because I'm certainly not perfect. Oh, we're not going to come here to be perfect. So there you go, Julie. Shine anyway. Shine anyway. All right, where am I? Molly. Molly. But first, Spirit says Jody. Jody, this one is for you. Oh, it's the angel Nathaniel. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> I'm getting to you, sister. All right. Oh my God, it's my other niece. It's niece day. It's the lucky auntie day. <laughs> Love that. Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Nathaniel is the angel of joy. So Jody, what does that mean for you? Sometimes life seems to rob us of our joy, doesn't it? It's like, God, I was joyful. What happened to that? Now my butt's dragging, I'm tired, I'm crabby, I'm cranky. Where'd the joy go? Well, sometimes this wonderful angel arrives because maybe our joy got sucked away from us because we allowed it to get sucked away from us by people who sapped our joy out of us, situations that sapped our joy out of us. Sometimes Nathaniel comes to say, maybe you gave away all of your joy because you didn't have any boundaries or borders. Nathaniel says, let me help you regain your joy. And sometimes regaining joy means we have to have some boundaries. We have to have some borders. Sometimes we have to remember that we no longer find joy in the places that we once found it, and that's okay. Or in the people that we once found it with. Or sometimes we just need some joy. If I'm clearing out a room, if somebody calls me and says, um, I, my house is haunted and I need you to help me get rid of a spirit. Well, there are several things that I do when I do that kind of a job. And one of the angels that I always bring with me is uh, Michael, Mikael, the eagle, Wombly. Mikael on angel's wings, right? And he will raise you up. Michael. Michael does a great job of getting rid of negativity, of entities that are haunting a home or creating havoc. So we have to know what angels do, what they represent, what they are, what the stream of thought is. Sometimes we can have, let's just say this, it's the holidays, it's not easy. Say we bring some people into our house that are not so joyful. It's not a joyful situation. What started out as a joyful holiday celebration ends up to be not joyful. So after everybody leaves our home, we can call upon Nathaniel. Nathaniel, thank you for filling my home with joy. Michael, thank you for ridding my home of all negativity, of all of the gossip, of all of the hurtful words. And Nathaniel, thank you for filling my heart, my home, my office, my bedroom, my mind with joy. Because angels are an energy. They're a light energy. All about joy, Jody. Bring some joy in with Nathaniel. Kelly Spencer. I said that with authority, didn't I? Kelly Spencer. Oh, Kit Kel, Metatron, Metatron, one of the Old Testament prophets. 
that we read about who fully realized, as Yogananda would say. Paramahansa Yogananda in the self-realization movement was all about fully realizing our potential, our light potential on earth. The prophet Enoch was all about becoming one with the solar angelic self or the inner light. We sundance every year, right, as a celebration of our home in the sun, of our light within. That's why Sundance is done under the hot and the heat of the sun, recognizing our home on the star known as the sun. So this is a card of realizing, fully realizing you. And I would add to that I am that I am. This is a time of transformation, Kelly. What do you want to transform? What do you want to become? What do you want to become? What is it that you desire to transform in your life. Cooking with Kelly, Alora's way. Where does that go now that it's no longer in Star Nations magazine? Where are you going to take that? Where can people be with that beautiful, creative spark within you? But more than that, what about the artist, Kelly? What about the woman, Kelly? The divine being, Kelly? Time to transform, to become more one with your light your gifts. Janelle, you beautiful thing. My niece, Janelle. You all know her mama, Barbara Dullknife, my chue. Barb. Janelle is Barbara's daughter. My niece. Oh, we have a lot of laughs together. She is one of the funniest human beings. Sometimes she makes me laugh so hard that I cry right on Facebook with some of the things that she posts, but her sense of humor. Uh, Jan is a natural born leader. People look to her to lead. She is a woman of substance and a leader. And the angel that appears, niece, is IML, the angel of change. And so the message for you is allow the changes that are happening. Don't force them. Don't resist them, Jan. Simply allow. 2018 is going to be an astonishing year of growth, good growth for you. It's going to be an astonishing year of growth and leadership. Leadership, leadership. As I'm looking at the card on the screen, on my inner screen, as I call it, the all-seeing eye, I am seeing the word leadership. You are going to be called into a leadership role at work and in your community. So allow the changes. No white knuckle ride. No holding on to the past. Allow the changes. Embrace the changes. You are being taken to a higher place. Yes. I embrace change knowing that my life is divinely guided. This is a wonderful card. This is a brilliant card for you. These are good changes, good growth. Hang on to your hat, as they say. Marilyn. Marilyn is saying, calling on the Archangel Michael and Nathaniel. She needs that in her life right now. Well, let's see. Let's see what we may have a message for you this morning. You're welcome, Cal. Yeah, Jan, it's going to be pretty... I'll be glad when I can come and visit with you. I think I'll be there. Well, maybe I'll be there over the run, the Fort Robinson breakout run. I'm, not, I'm waiting to hear from your mom. But, um, yeah. Okay. Where was I? Marilyn. Oh, Marilyn. Just like Angie, Shamshiel. Shamshiel, the card of freedom the card of freedom. This is a card that says, free yourself. It's not easy to do that because sometimes in order to gain our love back, our self love, boy, we can lose our own love for ourselves, can't we, during the course of life? Sometimes we have to free ourselves from situations, people, places, things, outdated belief systems, things that we've thought about ourselves. Sometimes we have to forgive ourselves. We're not really good about doing that. 
This is a card of freedom that says, Marilyn, you came here to dance at the party of life. You didn't come here to suffer. You did not come here to suffer. Free yourself. Free yourself. Shamshiel. And if you're having a problem freeing yourself, call on Shamshiel. Call on that. Yeah. Oh, Jan. I will be for sure there on the reservation during uh, the summer because uh, I'm going to be doing ceremony. So you and I will have a little chit chat either while I'm at the Fort Robinson breakout run or during Sundance season uh, before I go into ceremony up on the hill. I'm glad that you got to be with us this morning too, Becca. Well, you're another woman who does amazing things for people. You are just out there rocking and rolling and making life better for others. And I just, wow, I so love that. I mean, we can, that's what we came here to do, I believe, right? And Jan, you know, being Barbara Dolnife's daughter, sometimes Jan has things just kind of roll downhill and they land in her lap for her to carry. And she does it. I just... I know I love all of my nieces and things. Uh, I would say I am very blessed, makes me kind of emotional to have so many young women in my life that are leaders, just leaders and all of us older women, right? What are, what are we showing them? What are we teaching them and how to behave and how to act and nurture their growth? All of us that are older. All right. Oh, Aaron Camacho, speaking of nieces. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Jason. It does help you feel more complete when you're helping others. There is no doubt about that. There's just something. My father taught me that, my dad, the Sarge. From the time I was a little girl, he, my father was a Vietnam veteran. He also served in Korea. And from the time I can remember, he would talk to me about in Vietnam and Korea during those times when he would have uh, downtime, he would always go visit the orphanages in Vietnam and Korea. He would always, and there are beautiful photos that I have downstairs that I found after he passed of him with the children at the orphanage. There's one in particular, he was at a Korean orphanage with the children, talking to them and being with them. My father loved children. Love, love, love little children. So I grew up in a household um, with a dad who taught me from a very early age that all children are our children. All children are our children. And, you know, then, you know, then after that, he adopted me, right? He brought me home from a motel room in Memphis, Tennessee. He thought he'd give it a whirl. No one else could make it work, but the old army try, right? So he taught me well. And so what are we teaching? What are we teaching? Okay, that's a whole soliloquy. All right, here we are. Erin, another young woman of substance. Out there changing lives, making a difference in good ways. In good ways, oh, of course. It's the star on IL, the angel on IL. I am what the stars are made of. Ampoi Chapki, Morning Star Woman, Morning Star Woman, Ampoi Chapki Oyate, Ampoi Chapki, Morning Star Woman, and the Morning Star Woman Nation is leading you, Aaron. You know, when we stand up and we speak our truth, it's not easy. Sometimes when we're doing it, and you all know what I mean. Sometimes we do kind of shake in our boots. Our voice can shake. Because in these days when we stand up and we give voice to something, we can have retribution on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's not easy for any of us to say, that pipeline ain't right. The way people are being treated, that ain't right either. And we all have the capacity to do something about it. Erin is also one of those young women that is out there doing something about it, giving voice to the voiceless. Giving voice to the voiceless. 
Sometimes we cook for those people, right? A community dinner. Sometimes we have a Christmas party. Sometimes we buy bunk beds. Sometimes we smile at our neighbor. Or sometimes we say to the elderly neighbor, I'll, I'll plow your driveway today. Let me do that. I'll take care of that for you. You go back in the house. Here, I'll get the mail for you. Let me do that. We don't all have to change the whole world. All we have to do is change our inner world and be kind. Be good citizens of the universe, really. So anyway, Aaron, Ampa Wichapki, we are morning star woman is with you. I am what the stars are made of. We might also call her the Archangel Aniel, the star of Isis, the blue star, the dog star Sirius. But Ampo Wichapki is the morning star woman, Venus, the star of love, the evening star and the morning star woman. Oh, you are welcome for that, Joan. Okay, everybody, who do I owe a card for? Jill Verlee. Hey, Jill. There's another person. Pause with a cause. Jill Verlee, who's here in the, in the thread this morning, she works for Pause with a Cause. Amazing, amazing work that they do with Pause for a Cause. I'm an animal lover, y'all know that. I have a sick one here in the house with me. My Gabriel has ulcers in both of his corneas. Mm, you are very welcome, Erin. So if everybody could, you know, send some good vibes to Gabriel's eyes, he has ulcers in them. The left eye is more ulcerated in the cornea than the other one. But uh, I've had a very sick little doggy, my little Gabriel, little sweetheart. Jill, this one is for you, love. East Raphael. It's about being awake and being aware. But for you, Jill... This is a thank you card. This is a thank you card from the universe that says thank you for awakening people and making people aware. Making people aware. Pause with a cause. Matching beautifully gifted four-leggeds with those in need of a companion. Right? Sonia, you know what I'm talking about. Pause with a cause training those four leggeds and bringing them to their person and the person to their four legged angel, making people aware. Animals are precious beings of light. I believe animals are angels on earth. I just do. And pause with a cause aligns four legged angels with earth angels who need them. This is a thank you from the universe, Jill, from East Raphael. It's the Coptic teaching. I am aware and I am awake and I help, by the way, to awaken others. Not an easy job to wake other people up. I do it all the time when I talk about Gathering Thunder Foundation. Well, thank you all for the prayers. Yeah, he is my little angel. He's gonna be, well, he just turned 10, so he's gonna be 11. And he's kind of walking around like this because his corneas are ulcerated. Thank you, Rob, for adding him to the healing. Medicating him four times a day has been a little tricky. Jack Russell Terriers and medications. Hmm. Oh, good. Look at that. I would. Aw. Uh, Sonia and Jill. Absolutely. Sonia and her babies, her four-legged babies. There's another amazing thing. Just amazing. Uh, you're welcome, Jill. It's so good to have you. Okay, anybody, I want to make sure that everyone has received a message this morning. And I also want to thank you all for shining your light in this world. It's important that we do that at this time. Every one of us in our own way, not in anybody else's way, but in our own way. Just being kind. It doesn't cost a dime to be kind, to be thoughtful, to be careful with our words. Whether we're typing them, texting them, speaking them, emailing them, whatever, be kind. Be kind. Kevin, 
my brother from another mother, Kevin, Kamael, the archangel Kamael, the angel of Aries. Kevin, this is a card of confidence. Do you see the look? Kevin, be confident in who you are and in your ability to choose the course of your life. You didn't come here to willy-nilly flop in the breeze according to the plans that others have for you. You know who you are, Kevin. Walk with that. Be with that. You know who you are. Be confident in that. And when you are not feeling confident, Mikael, Uriel, Raphael, Gavrael, Kamael, Bear Nation, Eagle Nation, Buffalo Nation. Creator gives us so many gifts that we forget to open. Creator has given us so many gifts that we sometimes forget to open. Be confident, Kevin. Barbie Cornell, you beautiful thing. Call on your allies, Kev. I'm talking about that tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, Balancing Heaven and Earth. We're going to have an in-depth discussion about this. Okay. Barbie Cornell. Oh. It's the angel Ariel. And make sure that you show them the video, too, for the emphasis on my face, Kelly, because there was emphasis on my face. But I'm serious about that. Barbie, Ariel, Unity, Earth. Grandmother Earth is calling you outside to take a deep breath. But I'm going to add more to that. I would also say that, you know, you are a seer. You've been given the gift of sight, of clairvoyance, the ability to see the unseen. I feel as though there are beautiful gifts that are waiting to be seen out in nature for you. Now, through solstice, like the shooting stars that you saw that one evening, I believe that in the daytime that there are messages from the spirits of nature that wish to speak to you. Stella, Estelle, ah, <laughs> uh, Yo, Fael, for Stella. She's in her 90s. Sometimes she comes to the school for classes. She comes to see Sandy Herrick and Sir Charles. I love elderly elders that come to learn, that never stop learning. What a beautiful example that is for all of us. Yo, Fael reminds us that God and us, we are one. This is also a card that says, Stella, Anybody told you lately how much God loves you, how much the creator loves you? This is a card that says God loves you and thank you for being the love of God on earth for many. <laughs> thank you for being the love of God on earth. That's what we came here to be, not to be perfectly that because, you know, sometimes we just aren't that way. Are we? No. Because we came here to be human. We came here to shine. We for being human. There are lots of beautiful creations in the unseen world that will never have the opportunity to have the human experience. We've been given this gift of a human experience, of being with one another, even in this way. How marvelous. I remember as a kid watching the Jetsons, thinking, wow, wouldn't that be great if that really could happen, where you could see, you know, somebody on a big screen from across the galaxy? Here we are. Here we are, the Jetsons. It's about celebrating your journey, celebrating you, shining your light, and calling on the light when you need some. Sometimes we just need that little boost calling on one another, calling upon the light of creation. Last card for the day is for my Chue, Del. Del Marie. Shuffle, shuffle. Oh. 
I'm seeing it on the screen. It's the Wakian, Chue. It's the Wakian, the Thunder Nation. I am one with all in the sacred hoop of life. And I believe that this is a Wopila card. A Wopila card, a great thanks for all that you do to teach others that we are all related. We are all related to every living thing, seen and unseen. What a beautiful gift to walk that way. Perhaps the greatest Christmas gift of all, to walk that way. Ah, just what mom needed to hear. <clears throat> Estelle. <laughs> ah, beautiful. With that, everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy Yule, blessings of solstice, Happy Hanukkah, Happy return of the light. Happy reflection of the light within. Lily, Raziel is here for you. Hang on, Mary Ellen. I'm not done with you yet. This card says shine. You're back to the shadow, your face to the sun, Lily, and shine. I am the light of the divine, forever blooming and always loving. Back to the shadows, face to the sun, march on. Mary Ellen, my friend Mary Ellen. The angel amethyst. Your stones and crystal allies are calling you, Mary Ellen. And perhaps it's because sacred ceremony will ensue sometime over the holidays. You'll make a beautiful... Um, altar. And maybe there are beautiful things that you'll add to that altar. I learned a lot about that when Lily's mom was here teaching us about Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Delfina Cosme came and taught us about the Day of the Dead. And building creative, beautiful ceremonial altars. The stone nations are calling to you, Mary Ellen, your brothers and sisters of the stone people. With that, everyone, mitakoye oyasi, we are all related. Sending lots of love to each and every one of you. I can feel your love. Tomorrow night, I'll see you on Balancing Heaven and Earth when it's all about walking between the worlds, the soul's journey. We are never, ever alone. With that, everyone, have a beautiful day. Blessings be.